was a good, powerful win. Three blokes go through that door now. I'm going partying with that. The two? Yeah. We're getting company. <laughs> oh, Trace. I'm oh, and Stephen. Oh, you back in here? Tito was fired, which I was pretty surprised about. I mean, there was a guilt edge opportunity to nail Omarosa. Oh. You knifed Tito straight in the back. You took out your big lasso and you carved him straight out, man. I didn't knife him. I call him like I see him. I didn't stab Tito in the back, like Pierce says. Tito quit being project manager and let Stephen do it. I'm not going to be vindictive or mean-spirited in any kind of way, unlike other people. I'm not staying long. I don't want to be around him. Pierce was a loose cannon, and there was a lot of tension, and I knew it was my time to step up and kick that British mutt's ass. It was tragic tragedy in every way. to Donald Trump's apartment to get the next task. The view is spectacular for sure. The decor is impeccable. And Donald Trump walked in with his family. That was a portrait in itself. Good morning. Good morning. morning. We're standing in my apartment at Trump Tower. Some people consider it to be the greatest apartment in the world. I would never ever say that myself, but it's certainly a nice apartment. And to my left is Melania, and this is Baron. Baron, say hello to the group. Hello. And Baron, hopefully someday, will be a great entrepreneur. Melania, what do you think? Well, he will tell. Hey, what you will do when you grow up? Business. Businessman. Business. <laughs> That's right, like your daddy. That is pretty amazing, Dad actually. Daddy is a businessman, and what is Daddy building? House. House. He's doing well. Just 18 months old, and he's doing wow. really well. So hopefully he'll do well like Ivanka has done and like Don has done. Now, so far we've raised $630,000 for charity. That's a lot. A lot more is going to be raised over the next couple of weeks. I love art. I collect art. You are going to be working on a really exciting art project at the Modi Hassan Gallery, one of the top galleries in New York. You'll be working with Modi Hassan. He will give each team various artists for you to choose. You'll choose your artist, and tonight you'll sell your art. You'll price it, you'll do whatever it takes to sell that art. There is a minimum price for the art. What you sell above that goes to the winning project manager's charity. And the team that makes the most profit will win. Now, I'd like you to choose your project managers right now. It's you, right? Yes. Looks like you already have your project manager. <laughs> Who is your project manager? I'm going to be project manager. And remember, this was the task that I got fired on last season. So yes, that's, that's something true. To prove. That's true. That's true. Very risky to be project manager. Who's your project manager? Uh, I'm going to be. Piers is project yeah. manager. You know, win by not taking risks. As soon as I knew Amoros was going to be PM, I decided that this was time to go head to head, toe to toe, fight to the finish. Now, we're coming down to the final stretch. It's going to be very interesting, very exciting. Good luck. Sell a lot of art tonight. Make a lot of money. The winning team wins. The losing team, somebody will be fired. Have fun. Thank go you. Go ahead. Yeah. Good luck. It was going to be very challenging. I'm pounding on the phone here trying to get some folks to come down and buy a piece of art from Stevie B tonight. The test was really going to be more about relationship-wise, who, who some of us could get down to buy the work. All right, I'll see you later. You're the best. See ya. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, we are doing a fundraising event with um, a lot of the profit going to charity tonight. And the kind of range I was thinking is $10,000. When it came to raising money for people to come down there and buy some art, Piers had people on, on the line already. Hey, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Hi. Well, thanks for having me. You've got Gordon Ramsay. Excellent. Hi, Piers. Gordon, how are you? I'm right. How are you? 
Can you try not to swear too much in this brief conversation? I know it's almost almost a disease with you, but if you could just keep it straight. <laughs> the key to doing a task like this is you've got to have a great contacts book. Yeah, I can't say too much about it other than I want your money. I have no problem ringing up famous friends and asking for money, and they expect me to ring them and badger them for money. I've been doing it all my life, and I'm very good at it. Gordon, I can't thank you enough. I really appreciate it. Bye. Bye-bye. Now is the time where I don't just want to beat Omarosa, I want to pulverise her so badly that she's not only fired, but probably never work on television again. This wasn't business, this was personal. Okay, team, listen up. Steve Baldwin, I want you to pull up as quickly as you possibly can, everything you can. Print okay, so, form. so stop calling okay. connections. I'm going to have you stop okay. so that we can inform ourselves about the artist. Okay. Steve Baldwin knew nothing about art, so... I put him on research. He had to do the background for the artist. You can actually call and work the internet at the same time, right? Uh, not really, to be honest with you. You can't multitask? Is that what you're telling me? No, I can't read and talk to somebody at the same time. No, I can't do that. It's funny, because I, I, I'm doing okay. Can you give it a try, maybe? I can make the calls, but then if somebody asks me about a piece of artwork tonight, which would you rather I know better? I'd rather you do both. At this level in the game, you've got a multitask. I think that Omarosa likes to spin things a little bit. She plays the game a certain way, and um, she was trying to set me up. If you need room... Oh, excuse me. This is our, this is our room. Not, not your room. David, David Kramer's in the next room. This is what I'm thinking. We don't want them to flow into that other room. Of course, we want them to walk in and boom, boom, boom. Because they've got to find their way to their room. Okay. We are hosting an art exhibition this evening. And I'm the project manager, so my neck is on the line. Stephen Baldwin, yet again, was spending most of his time in the morning peering around doorways, listening into my conversations, and fr frankly, cheating. I have no problem with Stephen Baldwin cheating. I just wish he'd admit it and stop pretending he's from a different moral base to me. They can go around the back, right? Yeah. yeah, but they can actually walk out and around the back. If I have to go to the back, yes, room, right. I Sorry. can't go the normal Team way. Team rule. Right? With respect, this is our gallery, right? Not yours. So if you want to go to the bathroom, Are you guys. Are kidding me right now? No, I'm not. Every time Stephen holds his hands up and says, I, I can't get involved in this unethical behaviour, he seems to be the main perpetrator. It's cool spying, right? And I don't like it, and I respond with severe violence. The next step is I'm going to hit you, right? So you're going to hit me? I'm going to hit you. For going to the restroom? For, for spying on us. You're taking all our secrets. I have to go to the restroom. No, you don't. You can go another way. Go out the back, go around the corner, all right? Pierce threatened to hit me because uh, he thought I was intruding in their space and trying to steal their ideas and man he's really nuts see ya you want to put these up i don't think so they have the Let's prices have on we don't have time at this point we've got the price sheets we should be in control but i'm just steven I'm... i have a question should we stick these they on just the gave these to yes we have to we no, have we to do it we didn't know anything about art we had no idea what we were doing I think Omarosa claimed to know something about it. I, I don't know that she actually does. We have the option of putting it on, but it's not a mandatory thing. I would prefer that you did it. How would people know what the price is? We'll, we'll tell them. And this is how things are done in the gallery. Well, let's set them. Yeah. We've got, we've got five minutes. There's about the middle. Two and two right here. Let's get them up, boss. You got the red dots, leave them so that you can put them on each label, right? They gave us a little strip of paper that had like, you know, six or seven little red dots and you'd peel them off and stick them on when you sold one. Thank Here are the you. red dots for you. Thank you very much. Hey, listen, we appreciate all your help. Pleasure. You've been great. Welcome. Hello. Hi there, welcome. Hi, welcome. Stephen Baldwin, nice to meet you. Hi, Stephen. All right. How are you? Trace Atkins. Michael. Hello, dear. Nice to, meet you. nice to meet you. Come on in, David Kramer and the Empresario crew is this way. David Kramer is this way. Okay, Lennox, I need you on the door, mate. They're all coming in. Push them into our gallery, yeah? Welcome. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. 
When people walked in, I looked over and I realized that nobody was coming over to our side. Welcome. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you're good. Welcome. Omarosa was at the door funneling people towards her side, so I had to get over there real quick. Is that really oh, sure. This is David Kramer. Would you like additional information about David Kramer? It's just a brief bio about him. I'm shopping for art in my new apartment. Oh, are you really? You can help me find something really spectacular. I have cash with me. I want to buy something. I'm about to cry. Which piece are you going to select? I like that one. Oh, that one? I like that one.